Hi guys. It's been like what two days? Oh my god, I've been so busy. I have been so busy. I had to go back into the basement. Back into that awful, awful fucking basement. Luckily, I got everything. We, I did. I actually went down there and I did the lesser banishing ritual with the pentagram with a little more oomph and a little more get out. Today, everything's perfect. Everything's fine. Nothing bad happened with going into that crazy basement like it did last time. It was just very strange. It was very strange. And then doing, um, last night, uh, paranormal activity, normal activity for me. It's still happening. It's still going on. Um, I'm hearing people call my name. I, I'm not crazy. Obviously, I'm not crazy. I did call my, uh, insurance people and, uh, talked to the ASCA whatever and told them that I was hearing voices and I asked to be connected to somebody that was into my kind of in you know my spiritual path our spiritual paths and they tried and it did not work that well so but no I'm not going crazy so it's just little uh, whispers not whispers but I I'm hearing my mom now call my name I'm hearing my grandma call my name <laughs> And it, since it is her month, so it's just really, really, really weird. All the weird activity going on. The anger is gone. It's completely gone. I don't even have it in me anymore. So I took that as <clears throat> everybody was right. Everybody was right. It was balancing out the energy and the chakras and everything. So I did it again yesterday. This time I did it like I did the first time. I did it very, very to the book. To the book. Word for word visualization. And it, I felt peaceful. Um, it took away all the pain again. It's, it's like a painkiller almost, only meditation. So it literally, I could feel everything just pouring in from my crown chakra and then it just it felt so awesome it's the best feeling in this entire fucking world um but that that's very cool very very cool so still i'm still gonna still doing it still still trotting along with the middle pillar um the lesser banishing ritual of the pentagram has become even better even freaking better Every time I go now to each corner and draw my pentagrams, and I stand, you know how you stand, and you say, um, Leola, Amen, with your hands crossed, when at the end, the second Kabbalistic cross, um, literally it turns into my auditum, which is a temple. It's raised, you know, the black checkered white floors with the pillars and everything. It's insane. All the windows, everything, they literally I can hear the sounds going just crashing like an explosion and then everything reverses and it's in slow motion and it all gets put back together and there's droplets of water and just it, it, it's so cool it is so cool I can't I cannot stress enough how cool that is so What else was I going to tell you guys? I had a lot, I had a lot to tell you guys yesterday. Oh, the journey to um, receive receive news cauldron that was incredibly insane. Um, who was in Ouija Pop last night or Undal? It's the same thing. I mean, it's connected Undal to Ouija Pop, so there's no difference whatsoever. There's Undal. There's Ouija Pop. Ouija Pop is just this section of Undol, so that's, it's changed so much since we started doing um, Undol. We, we created Ouija Pop and it's changed 100%. It's very, very different. Um, there are more temples. Um, I'm seeing lots of, last night was, it was almost like a celebration. People were dancing around fires. 
um, and this is the really strange part. Um, I don't um, expect when I go into these meditations, all I expect to do is, or these initiations, these deity initiations, all I expect is to do is to communicate with my grandma or my relatives, my ancestors, um, any etheric beings such as um, Thoth and Isis and Horus, Ra, Osiris, um, Sashet, She, um, and uh, Hathor have become very, very close. Um, Sashet, she is a little, she's not upset with me, but the way I have my books in order, she doesn't like it. She does not like that. She thinks that they should be more orderly and they should be more... I agree. I totally agree. It's just crazy. It's really, really crazy. But it was all on all the rooftop. Oh, I just jumped my visualization, my initiation and with News Cauldron. But it just took, it took place on the rooftop. It was incredible. It was amazing. Uh, you could hear, I could literally hear, I could feel the vibration under my feet of the drumming from the inside of the temple. And we all, I followed a bunch of priests and priestesses um, of Isis and of Thoth and of Osiris. And we all went up this ouch, giant uh, stair, like staircase. It was like a pyramid, but it was a temple. So we were all on the rooftop and it was just all kinds of just drumming going on and just <clears throat> really weird dancing, ecstatic dancing was what I would call it. Um, if you guys know what that is, it's where you just kind of totally freak out and move move to the rhythm. And you let your inhibitions run wild and you do all kinds of crazy movements and weird stuff. And, but that is exactly what was going on. It was so insane. I could literally, literally, I was walking with the women and the men that would carry the water jugs on their heads and I could feel the Milky Way the Milky Way filling up that cauldron on top of my head first first horns came out of my head that's the first thing I felt and those are Hathor's horns the the cow goddess um, Hathor, Sashet um, in the Milky Way Isis which is the Sirius star so I did look and I seen that Sirius star I looked up at it, I saw the Sirius star, and it was Isis. And I felt from the Milky Way, from the Sirius star, all of this energy just filling that, the bucket, or the, the, the cauldron. It was incredible. It was so much love. It was, I can't even explain it in words. There was so much pure, 100% pure love. It was overwhelming. It was... It was incredible, you guys. The love that you feel from that goddess. I mean, holy shit. That's good stuff right there. And I just... I just felt that cauldron fill and fill and fill. And it just kept filling. And it just... I kept just feeling love. And just... Oh my god, it was... A love I've never felt before, ever. It, it was pure divine ecstasy, is how I felt. I felt higher than a kite, only natural, and it was so awesome. I still feel kind of floaty and happy and bubbly, um, but she was amazing. She is an amazing goddess. But it, it made me want to dedicate and just I just said, you know, I just, I was so full of love. It was just so incredible. I just said, okay, Isis. I said, I just, I, I, I give myself to, to your servitude, to your servitude and to, to the gods and the goddesses of old, of the old times, of the old, of the old ways. And she was very happy. She was very happy. They all started to dance. They all had twigs and branches and they were dipping them in buckets and they were going through and just ringing them and there were those finger chimes and the drumming and it was the flute it was incredible 
the hieroglyphs. I mean, I've never seen anything like this in, not even on, in movies. I cannot compare this to movies. I can't compare it to any kind of um, special effects. Anything. It's so incredibly amazing. And it's just awesome. It is awesome. She is, she's one amazing goddess, and I, I have, yeah, she told me that it was time for my initiation with her. Um, Sachet, she, I, I woke up at four this morning, three, through three, three a.m., and I had this, just this thing in my head, stuck in my head, I was thinking, Sachet, Sachet, Sachet. How, if you say that, if I'm saying that right, Sasha, I think I'm saying it right. And it just kind of clicked. Everything just kind of clicked. And I was like, I get it. I totally get it now. I'm where I'm supposed to be. Doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And it's awesome. It's really awesome. So, she told me to prepare. She told me to take the next steps not she said to tread on water lightly and that goes back to where me and my grandma were literally standing on the water and it was so strange i asked her i was like why are we standing on water she goes because you can you can do that here and i was just very confused i did not know what was going on i did not know why i was walking on water we were all walking on water it was incredible <laughs> I was stomping on it. I didn't, I couldn't believe it. I told her, I said, no, this is not real, I'm dreaming. So I started to stomp on the water. And it felt like, um, uh, and I don't know, I don't know what it felt like. It felt like water. With maybe like cushion, something like that. It was very, very awesome. So many experiences and just just I mean she did tell me to tread lightly on the water so I'm gonna make sure I actually follow her instructions following following by the book now being being a good guy there perfect but I just I can't <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know how to, to, to describe any of it. It's just, it's incredible. It's very incredible. <clears throat> and then last night, Nundal, well, um, it was very strange because I wasn't expecting this. Um, Doth and Isis, I went into the temple. Uh, they were very pleased to see me. This was after um, the journey in Newt's, Newt's Cauldron. To receive her cauldron. Now it's the next step is to receive the star seeds of Nu. Um, so going into my meditation at you know 10:07 to 10:28, 10:07 to 10:28, 10:29 now, 10:07 to 10:29. If I don't do it in that specific time, I feel like I'm going to die. I feel like impending doom. Like the waters of the ocean will surely swallow me whole and Jaws will eat me if I don't do it from 10.07 to 10.29. So, it's changed. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I, I entered uh, the temple, and they were just very happy. They were very, very happy to see me. I was very ecstatic to see them. Um, I had asked them if what you know, I just went through, that initiation, if it was real, and yes, they agreed that it was real. I'm a witchy boy. I did ask Thoth, about the whole uh, him rising again when Egypt rise when Egypt is under attack he will rise again Thoth his, his faith, his religion um, the mysteries the ancient Egyptian mysteries will rise too so I don't know if Egypt's under attack now um, but he said that that's what he said so he said he is calling now all of his priests, priestesses Isis is calling her priests and priestesses. All of the Netter, Netteru are calling their, their chosen ones that they wish to work with. And it's for a better world. 
<clears throat> it's for a better world. So, hopefully, it doesn't... I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't get too bad, because it's getting bad. I've stopped watching the news. Sadly, I can't get the news to switch off on here, or on that damn tablet. So, I don't know. But it was incredible. It was seriously just incredible. And I remember firmly standing with them. So, here's Isis on the left, Thoth on the right, the Auditum. The four pillars. The four pillars have turned into almost pillars from Egypt with hieroglyphs all the way around each one. Four of them. Beautiful netting. It's totally different color than that. It's like a color, the color of stars. It's like a netting that just kind of hangs over it. All kinds of, like you would see in I Dream of Jeannie, um, that type of lanterns. Um, her bottle the inside of her bottle, that circle, you, circular area, cir circular, circular area, that's in the middle of the auditum. That is where they dip me in, and they cleanse me, and they bless me, and they burn me. <laughs> I get burnt. I get burnt alive, like every night, and then they blow on me, and I form again, and then I see um, happy which is um, the god of that made us, basically. Molded us with clay, out of clay. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of had a vision. So it was a vision within a vision. Like a slight curtain open and then close. I saw him molding me. And then with little bits of water and then molding me. He was very, very intricate. Very intricate in his work. It was so awesome. I mean, amazing. But yeah, and then uh, it was just, it was, it was very crazy. So last night in um, Ouija Pop, or in Dull, I don't know. Um, I don't ever expect to see anybody. I never do. So last night, I got there. Before, this is, okay, this is all after. The, uh, going in to see uh, Thoth and Isis and Osiris and Ta and, yeah. Okay, I don't know if this was just my imagination or not, but all of a sudden, poof, there's Gaga. And I'm like, why are you here? That's what I asked her. I said, why are you here? And her exact answer was, when I meditate, I go places. That was her answer. So I don't know if that was my imagination or not. Um, I told her... Um, what we were doing, where we were at, she had no idea what it was. Um, so Gaga, you told me in, in there, and you've told me... You've told me to call you Stephanie, not Gaga. So, uh, that just gave away a lot of shit. Shit. Um, so, Stephanie, uh, were you there? Were you meditating last night at around 10, 10.30? Eastern Standard Time? Because you were there. You were there and you told me many things. Many things. That... I won't I won't say. Because I do believe that was you. I, I, I honestly believe that was you. I, I think. But I, I, I can't say what you said in case it, it happens. So I'll just kind of wait, and I'll, I'll just, I'll wait, and I'll wait on Twitter f for you, if that makes sense. That was part of the conversation. But it was really, really cool. It was very cool. Um, she asked, you asked Stephanie what was going on, and I, you know, I told her give you a little tour. Uh, you, and then you disappeared. You said uh, your meditation techniques are part of some kind of healing process, um, and you don't know where you go sometimes. You just go off. So you ended up in Ouija Pop. I don't know. I honestly, I don't know if it was me or if it was really you. So that's kind of, I'm kind of iffy on that. No, a lot of me says yes. That was a part of Stephanie. And then my head's like, yeah, right, you're full of shit.
with it was just it was crazy. It was crazy. It's tons of celebrations going on in in Andal. It's just it's awesome. It is so amazing. I can't believe it. So yes, I am already. I am ready. I am ready to to finally just start start and then Thoth keeps telling me oh he knows now that I have my my uh, space bar key fixed and so he wants me to rewrite the emerald tablets how am I supposed to rewrite them how am I supposed to rewrite the emerald tablets I have no clue <laughs> I have no freaking idea but it'll work it'll work it's just it's it's one crazy trip. But it was just cool though. It was really cool just seeing the stars and just uh, being, just being there. Just the love. It was just too much. It was too much love. It was incredibly crazy. I just, I loved it. I loved every second of it. It was very cool, so. Um, what else? God, there's so much that I've been wanting to tell you guys. So much. And now I forget. I get on camera and I forget everything that I wanted to tell you guys. And then I'll get off camera and then I'll tell you guys. In my mind. But it's seriously been amazing. It has been one amazing trip. And I don't want everyone to fucking stop. It's too cool. It's too amazing. So. Alright, a little bit of coffee talk. But yes. I, I just cannot believe. <laughs> These visitations. I can't believe this is actually real. It's, it's just, it's mind-blowing. It's mind-boggling. It really is mind-boggling. Yeah, I have a lot of work to do. Lots of work to do. Okay. Coffee talk. But it's just, it's, it's seriously amazing. One amazing ride. Okay. Where is everybody? What? An error occurred? Please try again, excuse me. That's what I thought. I'm so tired of YouTube demonetizing my videos. And then I have to go back and email them and tell them, um, hi, this is my religion. You can't do this. And then they monetize it again. It's fucking stupid. It's very fucking stupid. A lot of people are going to another place. I don't know where. Where are you guys going? Kendra, I know you're going somewhere. You went somewhere. And it's a special platform for your videos and everything, so. Alright. Let's see what everybody has to say. Holy crap. Alright. I wish I could get this spam to show up. It never will. It'll never show up. 27. Alright, hi guys. Hi lovely ones. Alright, Cody Cowden? Could you make more videos about your grandma? I have a lot of videos on her. Every video is, is with her. Um, yeah. Actually, I have. I have told her life. I, I, my book will be out this, this year. I've told her life. So. She's amazing. That's amazing. She's one amazing lady. She raised me for quite a while. Um, I consider my heart murmur. 
her heart in mine. So when she passed, when she took her life, her part of her heart transferred into mine. So that's when I found out I had a heart murmur. And I think I have two hearts. Well, a heart and a half. I think she lives in me a lot. All right, Cody C Cowden. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? I think God, I think he's a real God, yes. But he's not my, my Lord and my Savior. I don't believe that. I don't believe in the Bible. So no. Um, Jesus and Thoth are the same. Just a different name. But Thoth was here first. And then Jesus came. Thoth was here like 10,000 years before Christ. So I don't believe. I don't believe in the Bible. I don't believe any of it. But I do believe Jesus is real. Yes, I do. I believe he is a very, very, very real, high spiritual teacher. Cody. Cody Cowden. Have you asked your grandma? Yes. And she does say. She says heaven is real. Jesus is real. She said people do go to heaven. Um, she didn't believe in the Bible. So she's not. Actually, yes, she is. She's with Jesus. She's told me. She told me that it's okay if you accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. She said, if not, it's okay too. So, I've asked my grandma many things. I have Ouija sessions based on pure Bible uh, questions and answers from her. So it's incredible. It really is. It's very incredible. I know what you're doing too here. Testing my, testing me here. Don't do that. It's not, it's not nice. That's rude. Pumpkin Joanne. Hi. Hi, my love. Hi, love. I can't sleep. What's new? I have given up on a reading, so just gonna watch. I emailed you. I emailed you, silly. Did you get my email? I know you, I know you emailed me because I finally saw that you did email me. So I emailed you right back. And I told you how that how we would do our reading. Oops. So did you did you get my email? I hope you did. I hope you did. All right, Pumpkin Joanne. Hi, my darling. Hi, love. You have all those boards around you. Yes, I have. Oh my God. One, two. I have too many to count. <laughs> Uh, one, each one has a spirit, I believe, attached to them. Love you. I love you, too. No, that's a myth. Spirits can attach themselves to certain boards. They can find them. They can fancy those boards and say, Okay, I like this board, so I'm going to come to you on this board. Like my grandma. Uh, no. That's just a, a Ouija station. That's just a board. Nothing can attach itself to it. Really? It's rare. It's very, very rare. Tori Martinez, you should never, you shouldn't ever let a spirit count down the numbers. Thank you for spelling that right. That's a we just addition, though. All right. Tanya D, shout out, I'm back. Hi, how are you? I hope you're, I hope you're doing better. I really hope you're doing better. I'm so happy you're back. Oh, you've been sick for a long, oh. Lighting a candle for you today. I'm glad you're back. I missed you. All right, Diane Trainer. Hi. Okay, good video. In England, we call it the Stang, which represents old horny. Did you hear that? That was my sliding door. I told you guys, paranormal activity, normal activity. Yeah, I call it either a staff or a stang, and it does represent old horny. Right there. I love it. I love it. All right, witchy boy. Hi. All right, let's see what you have to say. Hi, Ray Ray. I love this video. Thank you. Thank you. I went to Indola, and the same thing happened to me. Isis dabbed my hands in third eye with some solution, and then rubbed me down with a different solution. 
and then she lit me on fire by using her energy and I burnt up and saw my ashes. Then Isis blew on them and I reformed. Thoth said, you are ready now. Yep. That's exactly how it happened. That's exactly how it happened for me. When I asked what I was ready for, he said that it was time for you to be a priest of him. He's calling his priests and priestesses right now. So is she. I'm excited, scared. scared. It's, it's a journey. It's a journey. Um, feels like I'm not ready, but Thoth thinks that I am ready, so I am reading the Emerald Tablets and thinking about them. Which, to me, with the key. LOL. Anyway, I'll shut up. <laughs> um, and the coven is ready. You're a moderator. And I invite everyone to come to my channel. And I will try to collaborate. But until then, I'll just be me. Sorry if that bores you. But it has to happen because I don't have a lot of computer skills. LOL. I feel like Thoth. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know. He's not up to date with his own advanced technology. That's, yes. That's him. That was him. Love it. I love it. Witchy boy. Yes, it has. Yes, it was. I feel like my mind is opened. I feel calm, loving, excited. I feel like I am responsible and that scared the shit out of me. You are very, you are very much responsible for your own actions. Yes, very much so. You're a co-creator of your world, and it can be scary. It can be very scary. So I, I completely agree. But yeah, I, it was a great experience. And do you have time to collab with me this week? If so, I feel like I'm on top of the world, but if not, that's okay too. I love you, moi. Yes, we could do a collaboration. I would love to. Ouch. When? Where? What time? Ouch. What are we doing a collaboration on? Yes, I will definitely love to do a collaboration with you. Witchy boy. Talking about the Emerald Tablets, if you're up to it. Oh, yeah. I can do that. I love the Emerald Tablets. I could talk about those all day long. <laughs> so yes, definitely. Definitely. Awesome. Alright, Butchy Sexton. I was witch hunted in a stupid Facebook group over Wicca. Only being 60 years old, I got to take the term... Wait, I got to take the term Mick Witchcraft from it. <laughs> Mick Witchcraft. Make a note. to unlock your iPhone first. One sec. Here's what I found. Create a new note. What would you like the note to say? Mick Witchcraft. Got it. Thank you. That's nice of you to say. Bye. Okay, Ryan, see you later. Alright, I had to make a note of that. <laughs> Mick Witchcraft. Witchy Sexton of Zozo's News Fest. Bring a book. I am so sick of Zup. I'm not even going to say the name. Katie Long. Hi, my darling. How are you? How are you? How are you? Okay, Lupe Love. Hi, Ryan. I need to... Okay, um, I did email you. Um, the thing about love spells, they're... You don't know if it's going to actually happen. So, I'm not 100% sure. There's no 100% guarantees. Um... It does cost. They're not free. <laughs> you don't go to a plumber and ask for a free 
you get a yeah you do f get free uh, uh, a free consultation <laughs> but you don't get your service for free that's all there is to it <laughs> so um, I just yeah I can do it I can do that for you um, but there's no guarantee there's no 100% guarantee because of free will so I already emailed you this morning um, I'm trying to think of when would be the best time to actually do that love spell for you to help you with that love spell because those are very good my I, I can do them for other people I just can't do them for myself it, it just goes bad so it'll go very badly for me if I do it on me that's why I don't do love spells for myself but yeah I do a lot of freebies I do a lot of free work so it I, I yeah I, I'm, I'm very nice I'm very very nice I'm very generous so yes all right blue witch hi hi my darling I love you the middle pillow ritual is getting better a lot better it's just more of a gentle energy it's not so harsh it's not like uh, someone's taking a giant blade and stabbing it in my my stomach <laughs> uh, Daniel or Danielle the voice has me dead I f I piss off fucking donkey Bronson Gorham hi I just think you're one of the freaking coolest people on here so I had to give you a shout out Oh, my Kristen. Hi, my darling. How are you? I seen you in uh, Ouija Pop last night. And Katie Long. <laughs> the energy, if you channel me, oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you channel me. <laughs> my energy is... Yesterday it was like way up here. I mean, it, I was on a a freaking roll and then I just totally zapped out it was cool it was very fun all right where okay I thought I saw some new comments enchanted bathscapes hi how are you Hey Ryan, hi. You look marvelous, darling. So do you. Thank you. I love your hair with a bit of new growth going on. It fits you well. I really enjoy following you in Modern Magic. Keep being you. You keep being you, too. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My hair grows so fast. It, it literally grows so fast that I... Keeping white hair is a bitch. Thank you, thank you. Um, I'm on the middle pillar ritual, so how far is everybody else? It's fun. It's very fun. So, um, today, um, I will actually, I actually got, um, a live journal, um, on my tablet. So I will be tap, 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 tapping away. Um, I wish it was a typewriter. I want an old typewriter so I can type out my pages, but then... How in the fuck do I get it onto the computer? Don't know. Don't know where that came from. Anyways. How far are you? In the... Oh, I'm like waiting for a response. I'm just on the middle pillar ritual, so... I'm gonna keep doing that for a while, and then... Um... Just... I'm gonna keep doing that, and I'm gonna keep doing, uh... What I'm doing with, uh... The Union of Isis and Thoth. So... I hope everybody's liking it. Sunset Roses. Ah, hi, my darling. How are you today? I hope you are well. I hope you are very, very, very well. All right. Um, spring Trap Trap. Hey, my darling, I love you. All right. 
So yes. It's just been amazing lately. Amazing. So. Um, hold on. So you guys, are you guys, everybody have their book? Yeah, I'm still only on, oh, I lost my bookmark. Oh no, I didn't. Yeah, I'm just on uh, page 79, the review. That's where I'm at right now. So, I, you guys, uh, you guys have plenty of time to actually follow up with me. I've actually been reading more. I'm actually <laughs> all the way into ch lesson seven. I'm just reading now. So, but yeah, not even on lesson one, lesson three yet. So we have a lot to go. All right, guys, oh, you're getting tangled. So yeah, um, Isis oil will be ready on the full moon. Well, it'll be ready after the full moon. I'm gonna create that. She wants me to create um, her oil. The Osiris oil will be ready June 9th, after June 9th, the full moon, in those very nice little bottles dropper bottles. Amazing. And now Thoth wants his oil diluted with almond oil. Sweet almond oil. So I don't know. Don't know about that. But yeah. That's all. That's, that's all that's really new. That's, that's it. Just the regular my stomach. It wants, a, it wants a soul. It's hungry for a soul. So. Alright guys, I will blog quite a bit for you guys today. Um, just kind of the hymns and stuff for the Ta ritual and the rite. Um, especially for like invoking Isis and uh, uh, Sashet and Hathor and just all that amazing stuff. And it's, it's such an awesome journey. It is so amazing. So <sighs> I'm tired. I'm so fucking tired. So, alright guys. Um, one session open tomorrow and that's it so if you do want your sessions make sure you get them in before noon or let me know in the night before so all right guys all my love oh, i'm so sore I'm so sore love you guys so much and i will see you all tomorrow for witchy wednesday it's gonna be fun very fun so Everybody have a great day. Be safe. And I love you all very, very, very much. And thank you guys for watching. <laughs>